All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, <clears throat> and we are watching Mob Deep here uh, going up against Dynamo. And uh, I want to tell you guys we are live right now uh, in IRC just to let you guys know. Uh, so you guys aren't uh, worried about whether or not we're going to start that stream up for you again. But again, this is Mob Deep going up against Dynamo here in the semifinals. Uh, down here in the lower bracket, the winner of this will go on to face Team Pandemic, who just lost to EG in overtime on strike. So uh, this is Mob Deep, who, who is, is actually, you know, they have just upset Mob Gaming, their fellow teammates. i got to tell you, uh, Mob seems a little upset, uh, reasonably so, as they were touted to, you know, probably go number three here. And uh, let's see here. Um... Got some guy in IRC talking a little smack here, but uh, no, I didn't. I did not sleep in the suit last night, but I did sleep under the sink in the motel room last night, guys. Uh, I fell asleep under the sink. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about what happened there, but uh, I made some new friends in the motel last night. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I kept all of my coworkers awake, and I apologize to everybody. And uh, let's see what's going on here as uh, we have uh, Dynamo Jackson going on two kills here, taking out Chimpe and Decrez. Speck is going to put down Elec here. And uh, the bomb has not been planted yet. It is actually uh, just sitting out there as the bomb carrier has been killed. It's a 3v3 right now. And uh, we'll take a look here at Gordo. Is he going to go down to Jackson here? So Dynamo, uh, one of your more, you know, really, really good SIBO A teams as well as, uh, you know, sitting around Cal Main and that sort of deal. And, uh, you know, people will actually, uh, you know, say that uh, Dynamo, there's some sus suspicion, especially about the, uh, you know, the Frenchies on their team. But I'll tell you what, guys, they're doing it big on land here. Uh, they are the real deal, and Dynamo is uh, one of the the nicest guys I've met here is Dynamo. And, uh, you know, JTF2 in particular is a lot of fun to hang around as this round is going to come to a close here. It's 2-2 two to two, uh, right now, and again, this is Mob Deep going up against Dynamo here, and we'll try to get some more interviews in here. Uh, we'll probably get, uh, we'll get bad fish in here eventually. After this match is up, we'll get bad fish in here from Mob Gaming. We'll talk about, uh, you know, what's going on here at the Nerve LAN. And uh, we just had Godfather on from Mob Gaming. Both of his teams performed very, very well today, two very talented teams. And uh, let's take a look here. It's Nicholas is going to get the scope shot on Decrez, and I'm not sure why Nick is sniping, to be honest with you. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, they're really hurting here. Well, they're kind of hurting here without Furious G. And uh, Furious G is a great scope. Some, ki some people kind of speculating uh, whether or not, you know, this is uh, it is sort of a land dodge attempt here by Furious G, saying that he broke his hand. I don't know. I, mean, I, I think he's a pretty legit player. He's a great player. Nick really could use him here on land. This is going to be a 3v3. And I am going to be joined back now by my co-caster. I don't know where he went, but he's back now. As Chimpe picks up a series of kills here, 3-2 to two, uh, in favor of the Op4 Psy. And uh, let's take a look here at Chimpe. He's playing inside the B house right now. Mav is going to get uh, a nice shot there on Elec. And uh, we will have Spec playing in top A. Let's take a look at the bomb as it is being ch planted here by Chimpe. And uh, Chimpe, you know, as the Godfather had just said, Chimpe comes alive on land, Snake Boots. Uh, exciting player to watch on land. He plays much better on land. Uh, he really shows up to the occasion here as we have 30 seconds left on the clock. And uh, let's take a look here as uh, the bomb is down. 30 seconds left here. Nicholas is playing out by the uh, B alley right now. Spec is in the middle uh, light building right now. And Chimpe is playing in the watermelon room. And just a little bit of time left on the clock here for uh, Nicholas to do something. He's going to fake a defuse, get a kill on Spec. So he's got one down. And uh, Chimpe playing in a very, very smart spot here, playing inside the watermelon room. And all he has to do is get him off the defuse and uh, chase around a little bit as Nicholas is running around. We have Mav still up as well. So Chimpe is going to put down Nicholas. And that's going to move things 2-3 to three here in favor of the Op4 side. All right. So uh, here I am a little bit late. Sorry. I apologize. Had to go out and make a phone call. So uh, here we are. Dynamo is on the Marine side. All right, so they are down around here, 2-3, as uh, things are going to get started. Crossfire, uh, don't know too much about this map, but uh, I'll give it my best here. As uh, Here it is, Jackson already made his way up into that bombsite. Going to put a couple of 74 bullets into Dockers, but Dockers right there. So a four on four evened up. The bomb is making its way over into that bombsite. Mav right there with the bomb has an AK-47 in hand. He's hanging out by the bus looking back towards the top of an A building. I think he saw a player jump out. Chimpe has switched up, has a scope in hand. I don't know if he started out with the scope. Uh, you know, he did not start out this okay, map with so the scope, but he played very well there, in But Alec is going to drop him there with the 47. JT... F going to come around there with one of his own uh, three on three situation here. Dynamo doing a good job on defense. Spec's going to come around there from behind. And Nicholas with a big snipe into Dockers, but uh, they are trading kills back and forth. Mav with a nice 47 kill there. So we got a two on one situation. Uh, one player left for the Dynamo side. That's going to be Nicholas. He's uh, smoked out back behind, and oh. he gets a nice Deagle headshot through the wall. And it's now going to be a one on one situation there as the bomb is planted. It did go down. 
at the bomb site, I believe, uh, B bomb site, right? Yeah, yeah B bomb site. So uh, Mav, that last player left, he's in the watermelon room, has that AK 74U. Nicholas is uh, going to be making his way up into the backside there, about moments away from each other, and there it is, Mav dropping it right into the midsection of Nicholas as Nicholas tried to come around the corner ninja style, but uh, there it is. They're going to pick up uh, their second consecutive round, 4 to 2, mob deep in the lead here on MP Crossfire. Yes, indeed, and as always, we have War Room for you guys on Erev TV. If you're just joining us, this is Mob Gaming, uh, Mob Deep. I'm sorry, going up against Dynamo. Mob Deep has pulled off the upset, uh, beating wow. uh, oh, Chimpe gets two kills here in a row. I'm going to interrupt myself there. As Chimpe gets two scope kills, and Chimpe is coming to life on land. Uh, this is the guy that put together the Nerve Land forces. He gets three kills. Chimpe could be going for an ace here, as he has three kills out of the five right now. As uh, Elek is going to put down Spec. And uh, let's take a look here at Chimpe and see if he does anything else here. So he's going to pull out the scope, and Gordo's going to go down as well. And uh, Chimpe is hunting right now for this uh, ace right here. He has the scope out. Three kills to his name right now. Uh, looking for two more here. Smoke is going to come up in two directions. He's going to get put oh. down there by JTF. And uh, that, too bad for Chimpe there. It was a nice try. It was a good round there by Chimp. And uh, three kills is nothing to scoff at here. So it is now a 2v2. And uh, we'll have Mab going up against JTF. We'll have Alec going up against DeCrez as they're matched up on opposite sides of the map. And uh, that actually worked out very well. I did not plan that. But uh, we will have DeCrez here playing on the uh, B stairs right now. And he's going to hear a plant going down. Uh, from Mab, who is going to fake it. He sees somebody top in. He's going to get the kill on JTF. And DeCrez is going to take out Elec. And uh, the Frenchies go down as it is five to two right now in favor of the Mob Gaming. Or I'm sorry, Mob Deep. I got to stop saying that. It is Mob Deep, ladies and gentlemen. They are here in the semifinals in the lower bracket at Nerveland. You guys are watching Erev TV, and I'm joined here by Snake Boots. If you're joining us, the Kantu Legend is here. All right, so like uh, like he said, the lower bracket semifinals, the winner will go on to face Pandemic in the lower bracket finals. So we only have a couple of matches left here at Nerf 2 Land. Things are shaping up, and uh, I'm not really too familiar with this uh, map. So uh, what tends to be the easier side here? Well, you know, I, I think it's the offensive side. Offensive side, they are they are pretty close to that B bomb site. Uh, get in there efficiently so uh, we got a four on three advantage for the op forward side that's going to be mob deepest dynamo evens it up uh, limitless with a big kill there and spec coming around with an ak 74 u into nicholas so uh two on three disadvantage here for dynamo is uh limitless is over there in the watermelon area so he is on top of the b bomb site jackson uh also over by the b bomb site is scoping out see if he can spot that a and right there Ma uh, mav gonna get a kill into limitless from behind so we got a two-on-one situation or one-on-three situation rather as jackson drops one of the three members of mob deep that's gonna be Chimpe. so uh 41 seconds left here in this round jackson kind of pulling out the stunts they have mob has made their way over into the eight bomb site they are dropping the plan i'm gonna quiet down here because i believe we have a team right behind us so uh there it is a fresh 45 seconds on the clock two on one situation uh jackson still trying to pull out a huge clutch here for ma or for dynamo excuse me as he's gonna make his way over into that eight bomb site area and there it is spec spotting him in wow. from in between the uh the glass there and Jackson's going to make his way in. Like I said, he was in a three-on-one, now a one. And there it is, coming in from behind. Spec looking the opposite way. He has now got it down to a one-on-one, -on -one, but unfortunately time is working against him. He's got 15, 10 seconds left on the defuse, rather. And there it is, he's going to hear some footsteps over to his right. And right there, Mav playing smart, coming back around on the flank, keeping Jackson guessing. And Mob Deep are just rolling since I have come to cast this one. And they are up 6-2 to two here on MP Crossfire. But none to fear. As you said, want some offense uh, tends to be a little bit easier. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, Mob Gaming is, or I'm sorry, Mob Deep is very, very vocal right now. I keep doing that. I apologize, guys. It's been, it's been a long couple of days here, but we're having a hell of a time here at Nerveland. And uh, let's go to Mob Deep's War Room right now. I know we already ended this round, but let's go there now. Can go on top. Go on down to the Picking ice. Cafe then. You can go cafe. I'm crossing over the B side. Slow down. Slow down. That body. One cafe. I think top A. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just saw, top him. A. I saw him. Don't peek. Don't peek. Top A. Top A. Top A. Dropping down. You gotta get two more down. Two more that we can plant. Watch ice. Watch ice. Fire. 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 Watching fire, my, fire. Fire. my push up. There's no way that's out. Mav, you need to get over got here. Got him, got street, got street. Mav, I 
can't. Can fire, here. fire is still alive. Fire is still alive. I can't plan it. We're gonna have to try. We're running out of time. Cafe. You're gonna have to try. Let us smoke. You know, let us smoke. Gate corners. Gate corners, bike, guys. Bike, 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 bike. bike. Come back to the uh, top corner. Burn. And flower pot. We might go top corner, because you guys know. Marshall Hotel. Down, bike. One's ice, ice, ice. Down, hey. We're in bombsite. Outside! Locker. Watch the watch feet, watch the feet, watch the feet. Please smart time. Come back to live action here from the Mob Deep War Room there. And uh, I tell you, Mob Deep comes alive online, and Chimpe in particular, as I was saying right before that, is, is now 7-2 to two right now in favor of Mob Deep Snake Boots. And uh, once again, I apologize about my, about my voice, ladies and gentlemen, if I start squeaking like a 13-year-old boy. Uh, <laughs> it's because I've been using this voice a lot the last couple days, but I uh, had a lot of fun here. And uh, Snake Boot, you got to call this round, man. All right, here we are, fresh minute 45 on the clock. Limitless making his way up into that B-bomb site. Spots a player right out in front of the bus, and there he is going prone right underneath the bottom of that bus. But Docker's coming from behind, drops a 74U into Limitless, and Nicholas trading kills there as he drops maps. So we're in a 4-on-2 advantage here to Dynamo. So this is the first round I've seen them really come out and uh, grab the first couple picks. See if this will uh, work in their favor. Chimpe uh, over by the B bomb site. Bomb is down, I believe, over uh, on top, uh, over in the lighthouse somewhere. As uh, Dynamo is going to play this round smart, they're going to play their angles and hold back. Chimpe making his way up uh, cautiously up the main road with the sniper. As we got 52 seconds left in the round, Chimpe Bold still move kind here. of yeah rushing in with the sniper is gonna make his way around coming in the backside. There it is <laughs> with an easy no scope into the back, two feet away from Alec as he was hiding. So uh, three on two situation here for Dynamo as it's now down to that last mob deep player. That's gonna be Chimpe as he's grabbed a 74U. There it is, getting the kill into JT. 30 seconds left is now a two on one situation and wow. Chimpe pulling out the stuns. Wow. Drops a couple of bullets. It looked to be a headshot in my opinion on top of Jackson but it's not. The bomb is still down on top of uh, Light. Uh, the it's kind of, kind of a bad option for him. He knows the player's right around the corner. There it is. He's uh -oh. going to come around, and Nicholas is camping right on top of that bomb site. <laughs> Coming over the short wall. Chimpe almost doing some magic there. <laughs> but uh, Nicholas saving the round for Dynamo. They are now 3-7. to seven. Two rounds left in this first half. Indeed. And, uh, very, very nice stuff there from Chimpe. Indeed, and, and like I said, this is an offensive-sided map, so Dynamo still has some life left in him. Uh, Chimpe, that was a great round, man. You're a lot of fun to watch on land, man. You know, show those haters, show those doubters, man. But, uh, you know, what we just saw there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the one bomb. You know, Nicholas, all he had to do, he saw the bomb, he just sat there, stared at it, and waited for Chimpe to come around the corner. And, you know, it's it's lame, but uh, both teams can do it. So you got to be careful with your bomb carrier. As, uh, you know, he got killed pretty far back there. So this one's going to get underway very, very fast here. This is 4-2 four to, four to two right now, player-wise. Two up for the Marines, which is Dynamo. Uh, so Mob Gaming coming out, or I'm sorry, Mob D coming out so big right now. And uh, Decrez is going to get a kill on Elect there with that 74U. Uh, he's playing in the B Alley area right now. Gordo going to get an 8 AK-47 kill on Jackson. That's going to take the round. It's 8-3. to three. we got one more ran, round here until uh, halftime. I'll tell you what, let's go to Dynamo Vent and let's get some uh, some Frenchies on air right here. So let's go to Dynamo right. Vent now. Come back from A4. So, A4 is no biggie. Just. He's in A. He's in A, Nate. Kill him. Oh, fucking tag. Oh, 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 tag, tag, tag. Bad, there's still a NA guy. Oh, fuck. He's key, key! Wow.
And we're back here as uh, the last round of the half there goes to Mob Gaming. It is 9 to 3. And, uh, you know, and, and we also heard in the war room there, you know, Dynamo's not real worried because this is a very, very offensive sided map. And Dynamo is a very, very good team. And their spec ops are great. And uh, like I said, not having a dedicated scope has hurt them some here on land. Uh, but here they are in the semifinals of the lower bracket right now, which is more than we could say for a lot of teams. So everybody out there that thinks Dynamo is not a good team, they're a great team. And they're doing it here on land. Yeah, one thing, one thing. Uh that might have hurt, hurt Dynamo here as they try to pick up their rhythm. Uh, you know, they ripped off three straight victories early in the morning, and then they had a long break awaiting the winners uh, of those matches to see who they would face. So uh, they have they have been about two hours without playing, and after ripping off three three straight victories, it kind of ruins their momentum just a little bit. So uh, we'll see we'll see how they come out here in the second half. Uh, I don't know if you guys been doing score rundowns. Uh, we have yes, we have. And we'll give you guys a quick score rundown as we wait those last two Dynamo players. Two ready up. Uh, go for the mob deep gaming side. They're up nine to three here at halftime. Switching over to Marines, we have Mav LP on top, eighteen and four. Chimpe eleven and seven. Spec nine and ten. Gordo eight and eleven. And Dockers holding up the bottom there, six and eight. Give us a score rundown for Dynamo. All right, for Dynamo on top, we have Nicholas going thirteen and ten. We have a ten and twelve here from Jackson, and uh, JTF is seven and ten. And we have a six and a four from Limitless and Elec. All right. So, uh, here we are on this uh, first round here of the second half. We will have Dynamo on the offensive side, which is the easier side. And, uh, you know, the strats on this map are pretty basic. you got to smoke it out, get across, get some picks, and fake it. Wait for some nades to come down, go back, plant it again with some smoke up, and then get to some really, you know, unusual spots where it's very, very hard to get you out of there. And uh, that's why it's an offensive oh. side. Mapha Spec does the perfect strafe jump there on Nicholas from back A. And uh, we'll watch here as Gordo has gone up into top A. He has a crossfire set up on the B-bomb. Limitless firing from underneath the brown car. That's dangerous. As he does get the kill under Krez, but uh, you don't want to be shooting under something that blows up. So uh, we'll be watching here, and uh, we'll see Limitless uh, still playing there. Zalek gets a kill on spec, and uh, Gordo is still up in this top A house, and he will have a crossfire down onto the B-bomb. He's going to throw a cook nade right now to the B-bomb, and uh, we have about 50 seconds left on the clock here. That nade did not hit anybody, as it was a fake. Like I said, you need to do that to get those nades out of there, and that gives you that much uh, of an advantage here. So we will have... Uh, JT right now, he is going to be planting and uh, putting this bomb down. So bomb is planted at B. We're on a 45-second clock here. Limitless gets a kill. Mav is down, and uh, Mav has been what a, what a fantastic player on land. Mav has been, uh, you know, I really feel he plays a lot like Taylor uh, from the actual Mob Gaming team, not Mob Deep, and uh, he's been a lot of fun to watch here. Uh, great shot, by the way. Great, great shot. One of the better ones we've seen on land. And it's going to be Limitless going up against Elec, and uh, we'll have Gordo and JT also up. Uh, Gordo is going to move his way through the A alley right now, trying to get over to that B-bomb site to get a defuse down. But he's going to get taken out there by JTF2 right there. Joint Task Force 2 puts him down, so it's 9-4. to four, And uh, we will be, you know, continually casting this for you. We might do some War Room in here in a second. We might not. So, uh, again, the winner of this one will go on to face Team Pandemic in the lower bracket finals. And the winner of that will go on to face EG again in the finals. So, uh, also, real quick before we get back to casting, we got some prizes to give away here from uh, Lauren Comps, our hardware sponsor. Uh, we got uh, you know a steel pad actually made out of ice. Or, I'm sorry, made out of glass. It's steel ice pad, and uh, we have a Barracuda headset here from Razer. We have our Death Adder here, uh, also from Razer. So we're going to be giving these away here today, and uh, those are from Lauren Comps, our new hardware sponsor at Erev.tv. You can check out Lauren Comps. Their website's going up uh, very very soon. It's a gaming related hardware uh, store, so you guys want to check them out for some good deals on gaming related hardware. And uh, we'll be working with them in the future with the other lands we're doing here. So let's get back into this uh, match here, Snake Boots. What do you see going on here from uh, the Dynamo side? All right, so things are kind of playing out slow as uh, as opposed to how um, how Mob Deep played on the offensive side. Dynamo slowly pushing up. We are at a four on four even advantage. Minute left, uh, just under a minute left on the clock, and there it is. JT is going to go and uh, lay the lay the fake plant down. Gordo coming out with the big double kill combo there, and last one into Jackson. So uh, four on two advantage here goes to Mob Deep. I believe, uh, yeah, Mob Deep, uh, four on two. Two players left for Dynamo. Dynamo that's going to be Limitless and JT. The Limitless is over by the Watermelon area, has the uh, M4 Carbine in hand, or that might be the M16, rather. And JT is going to lay down some smoke, get over into the B bomb site, and there he is. I think that's going to be a hard plan. There's 25 seconds left, and Dockers wow. coming through the wall, spamming him. With that AK-47, and that's a huge round there for Mob Deep. Indeed, that's... And they're going to cut off the momentum. Absolutely. 10-4 is the score. Yeah, 10 to 4 score here, and that did cut off the momentum as they are on the harder side now. But tell you what, uh, let's go into the Mob, uh, Mob Deep war, war Room right now. We'll go there and uh, see what's going on as they are at 10 to 4, three rounds away from victory here. Ike. Smoked up there, straight. Go on with you, Spack. Fuck. Kill two. I'm Spack. Nice. Play, play slow, play slow, play slow. 
I said about Nice. Bombs over here. He's by the bomb, by the bomb, locker wall. Watch ice. I'm gonna farming. go top. I'm gonna go top blue. No, I'm going top blue. All right, we're back to live action here. That was Mob Deep's War Room right there. There's 11 to 4 right now. Uh, Mob Deep playing very, very well. If they move on here, they will face Pandemic in the lower bracket finals. You guys are watching Erev TV. We're bringing you land coverage here at the Nerve Land Call of Duty 4 big event here in North America. Uh, and we've had a lot of Euros hanging out in IRC actually. So we've had people from all over the world watching this cast, uh, watching uh, you know good players play here in North America and. Uh, we will also see a couple teams that are playing here go to Europe over the summer. So back into this match now. Uh, we'll take a look here at Mavis. He's going to get taken out from behind by Nicholas with that 74. You, Nicholas, gets three kills wow. in a row. you got to be kidding me. This kid Woo. is real on land. Things are getting real in here as he's taking the 74. He's going to push a little bit. He's going to avoid a nade. He is what was tagged up by it. Alec takes out another player here. And this is a Frenchie storm rush right here, man, as the Frenchies has gotten four kills in a row. Uh, Nicholas is going to come around there, and he's going to take out the crest there. So Nicholas with four kills, ladies and gentlemen. And I think he's trying to make a statement here that Dynamo is not done yet. Oh, definitely so, and that to prove uh, prove on his haters. I've been keeping a watchful eye here on IRC, and uh, it's too unfortunate you guys couldn't catch Dynamo as uh, they gained three victories in the earlier rounds. I've been uh, seeing some comments about Limitless, uh, about how Nick has been playing, and uh, the one thing I can say is that they're here. They are playing on land. They are playing under pressure. You know, people are watching them, and uh, like I said, in the earlier matches, both those players have been doing well, and Nicholas right there with the four kill rounds so uh we'll see how uh dynamo responds to this they're down 11 to 5 here and we are in the into the 17th round four on four even advantage minute 15 left on the clock as uh dynamo again uh something we've seen different from the mob deep uh mob deep side is they are slow pushing into that b bomb site and limitless and jackson right there with kills into mav and chimpei respectively so uh four on two advantage here for dynamo they uh got a minute to work with get those last few kills or drop the Drop the rock down on one of the bomb sites. A lack right there with the kill into Gordo. So one player left for Mob Deep. That's going to be. We roll through. That's going to be Dockers, and he's holding out in that cafe area with the AK-47. So uh, we'll see how it does it right there. Alex spamming through the gates, catches him in the side, and Dockers is going to fall short there. Dynamo coming out with two straight rounds here on the offensive side. Maybe they have found the rhythm, Ronson. We'll see how it unfolds here. Welcome back, Dynamo. It's good to see you guys. I didn't know where you went, <laughs> but you guys are back here, and uh, Dynamo playing very, very well here, and uh, in particular, you know, Nicholas and, and coming along, and just like you said, Stink Boots, uh, these guys have been doing it on land. They would not be in the same finals of the lower bracket right now if they were not good on land oh, exactly. and all the haters out there in IRC where are you guys at why aren't you at land so uh, I've been saying that all weekend because you know evidently everybody here is ugly and everybody in IRC is so cute you know and then there's so much better looking and all oh, this yeah, stuff but you know happens. whatever whatever so it's gonna be a 4v2 right now in favor of the op 4 side as we want to watch uh, you know Dynamo really come to life here uh, the bomb is at towards the B bomb site, hanging out by the boss area right now. Spec is going to get a kill on Elect there with a 74U, so he is coming back to make it a three to two. And this is manageable snake boots for Mob Deep right now. Uh, you know they get a, get around back here and get some momentum running for them as uh, Spec is going to pre-fire the bomb right now. Gordo going to take out JT, and so now it's a two v two, and this is more than manageable for Mob. And Dynamo is probably questioning a little bit right now as they do not no longer have the bomb. And uh, Jackson right now getting spammed pretty heavily through the cafe walls right now, and those things are paper thin, man. Uh, Spec <laughs> is going to come around the corner here. He has. A flank now moving back into the patio area and uh, we'll take a look here at Gordo he's still playing up top limitless playing in the middle area right now at the bike room and uh, they know the you know I'm, I'm sure mob knows that the uh, bomb is down as they heard the, the plants and uh, they know that they have to get back across to it but limitless gonna go on a little bit of a flanking mission here and uh, this could be absolutely huge here snake boots if he can take out this player he gets one he's got one left to get a spec is actually behind him now and he has to get to this bomb he's gonna come around the corner jump out fire with the AK-47 oh. and spec takes him out with the 74U and that's gonna push us to 12 to 6 we're into the tie round here this is Dynamo going up against Mob Deep and things are getting exciting things are getting real you guys have excited E-Rev shoutcasters here and we are going to go uh, go into this last round here and I'll tell you what let's uh you know, we're going to cast through this one. We've done a lot of war, war rooms, so uh, uh, Snake, yeah. what you got the call here, man? Let's watch Mob and see if they can pull out a win here 12-6 right now. All right, Mob Deep in game point, 12-6, as Wansom called it. But Dynamo coming out right away, getting that first frag, a pretty important one. Gordo, the hero of the last round. So uh, Dynamo 
getting an early advantage. 20 seconds off the clock. JT making his way slowly up up uh, towards the bus area. Has a bomb in hand. Nicholas coming out with a huge AK-74 kill there into Spec. And Spec, uh, in dying, lands a nice potato smasher into Alex. So we got a three-on-four disadvantage here for Mondeep. Chimpe up on top of those runes walls with the sniper as he's... Uh, Nicholas starts to flank him here from behind. He's gonna about to see him. There he is. He spots Chimpei from behind, making the climb. A big headshot, an easy headshot at that. So we got a one-on-four situation. Last player left for uh, Dynam or rather for Mob Deep is gonna be Decrez, as uh, Wansom calls him. I've been calling him Dockers. I've seen people <laughs> um, making fun of me for calling him that. <laughs> but uh, Limitless is gonna come through for Dynamo with the kill. Twelve to seven. They are not gonna go down, but uh, it's gonna be a tough road ahead of them. Five rounds to pull up, pull up and uh, send this thing into OT. Wansom. Not out of question. It, it's not out of question, and I'll tell you why. Is that Dynamo has nothing to lose here. You know, Dynamo came here as an underrated team. They've been underrated. I, I think the entire time they've been playing Call of Duty Four, people have doubted their talent. They think some of them hack. You know, because they came out of nowhere. For from Kantu, and just because they have a no name means that they must not be legit. And here they are doing it on land, and you know they're playing for their right to you know have some respect here. They're getting two kills early on this round, making it uh, four to three as Gordo answers back into Nicholas here. But uh, once again, I don't feel that the pressure is on Dynamo. The pressure is in Mob Deep right now because people expect Mob Deep to win. They just knocked off their fellow Mob Gaming team, and uh, Dynamo just you know playing for the right to play right now. So we'll keep watching here as uh, is four to three in favor of Dynamo right now. And we have Jackson playing in the B room, Decrez on the B stairs, so they're right across the corner from each other. We're going to see a firefight here very shortly if uh, he does peek that corner. And uh, it is pre-aimed, so this is going to be a quick one if Jackson is not looking in the right place. These oh. guys are right around the corner from each other. Oh. And Decrez looks like he might get a little greedy here and try to push around this corner, and he will. And Jackson's going to see him. He's going to jump out, see if he gets a kill. And yes, he does. He gets a headshot on Decrez there. And uh, that's just a lack of patience right there, Snake Boots. If he would have sat tight, he would have been all right. He had plenty of time left on the clock to coordinate something there. And uh, Jackson going to stay in this B room. Dynamo uh, has limitless as well as uh, looks like the planner is into the B site right now. JTF is putting it down, and I got to tell you, JTF two is a you know JTF two is a nice guy. Snake boots. You yeah, know, meet, I, meeting him here at land. First JTF, person I met this morning. He is a I, nice I, guy. I showed up to the land center. Yeah, absolutely. So we have Mav, uh, LP here, Lost Profits. Uh, evidently, I said some stuff last night about the Lost Profits. I just want to know who the hell you guys are and what you do. And, you know, like, I, don't, I just want to know what you do. I got threatened last night for, for talking oh, about the Lost no. Profits. But oh, I tell you what we no. may do, what we may do, Stink Boots, is we're going to do an NRD versus Lost Profits match. Oh, okay. You know, get some players in there. I was talking about that yesterday, so we'll, we'll get that done for you guys. And uh, once again, if you guys have any shout-outs, get them to us on the IRC uh, uh, Game Search QNet Networks. We are E-Rev on the Game Search QNet Networks. And uh, you guys get your shout-outs to me. My name is E-Rev, one sum one one sum one And uh, we'll be doing some stuff for you guys in the shouts out there. So here comes Dynamo Snake Moots yet again, getting two, three kills. Nicholas going crazy. And uh, he's got that 74U coming out again. So a minute 20 left on the clock here. And Dynamo could really push this into overtime. We can see our second OT. Yeah, definitely so, and the momentum is in Dynamo's favor. They're just rolling on all cylinders right now. Five-on-one situation. Last player left is going to be Mav, and he does pull out a kill there. So he's in a one-on-four situation. He is in top of the A building. Uh, they know exactly where he is, and the bomb site, or bomb does go down, rather, but Lek is right there to uh, come through, and uh, there we go. NRD just dropped LP. Yeah, indeed, yeah, indeed. So. Going back and forth here, so <laughs> it's a lifestyle. See, I got, I, yeah, right, exactly. It's a I lifestyle. got friends. I got friends on, on <laughs> both both teams, so I don't know if I can really pick one. But uh, I got to say, I'm really, really disappointed that I didn't get to see Brett here uh, um, this weekend. Yeah, Brett. Brett has been bugging me, dude. Brett has been straight bugging me all weekend. He's being mean, you know. I don't. I've never even seen Brett, but like he's he's being pretty mean, you know. Whatever. Him and Jess. So we'll, we'll look here at Decrez, and he's going to shoot down uh, Dynamo Nicholas there in the bottom A right now as he made a pretty big push there. Uh, Limitless going to get a kill on Decrez, and once again, Mob Deep is one round away from moving into the lower bracket finals here, going up against Pandemic, and the winner of that will face EG as JTF2 is going to get a kill on Gordo there, and uh, things are going to be 3v4 now in favor of the Op4 side, which will be uh, Dynamo Gaming right now, so Spec going to cook an aid here. Uh, he's going to toss it into Bike Room. He better not hold it too long, and uh, he will not get a kill with that as Alec goes right away Ooh, and uh, see something flying at him, better get the hell out of there and uh, we'll take a look here at Chimpe as he has dropped the scope down and uh, he is using this AK-47 to pick up towards the B bomb site sees one on the B bomb site and JTF2 I believe and uh, looks like Jackson is in the B room so you know they have about 40 seconds left here I'm sure they still have some smokes left here and uh, they need to get one more pick here and then move in and plant the bomb here so uh, we'll see what's going on as Mav LP one of the best shots I have seen on land to date 
Uh, the bomb is going to be planted here. Chimpe gets a kill on Jackson, so the advantage is going to be, uh, you know, actually the advantage will fall to Dynamo here because the bomb is down. It is 3v3 right now, but that bomb is like having an extra person on your team right now, and that clock is right, winding down very, very fast. And uh, Limitless is going to kill Chimpe there, so uh, Dynamo coming up again here. Spec is going to get a lack of 25 seconds left on the clock here. 2v2. And uh, Limitless taking some fire here. Limitless, stay down, bruh. Stay down. You need to calm down. Don't get an. E don't let your. Uh, don't let your head get taken off there from an easy pick. And uh, oh, Mab is holding the defuse diffuse. right now. Bomb is going to be defused here if they're not careful. The no! bomb is defused as he ninja defuses it and Dynamo wow. has just lost 13-9. And uh, wow. what a close round. The ninja defuse there from Mab. And uh, that is going to push, you know, Mob Deep is going to the lower bracket finals. They will face Pandemic, and you guys will only be able to watch it here on ERAV TV. And remember, we are, you know, bringing you guys the finals uh, from both the upper bracket. We just did that, which uh, EG took and beat Pandemic. And now we'll be watching Mob Deep, who has now has just steamrolled here through the, uh, you know, the second round of playthrough, uh, you know, all of the lower bracket. They've beat Mob Gaming. They just beat Dynamo. And they're going to go on to face Pandemic. And talk about your all-time Cinderella story. If we could see Mob Deep come all the way to the finals and knock off EG, I'd, you know what, I'll get up and leave, alright, <laughs> I don't even know what I would do, that would well, be ridiculous, well, you'd have to leave because, you know, we have to go home, but, absolutely, absolutely, but I understand so. where you're coming from, uh, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be a tough road ahead here for Mont as they are going to take on what many consider the number one team here in North America, in yeah, Team Pandemic, I, I agree. so, uh, I agree. I don't, it's just, it's just going to be one map, I believe, instead of a best of three, yeah, it'll, I, I believe it goes on. on, I think so, so, all right, so I'll tell you what uh, we're going to do, we're, uh, we're going to take a break here so we can cut in between the archive so we can actually uh, archive this for you guys and you guys can watch it very quickly. But uh, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we're going to cut the stream for a couple seconds here, save the file, and we'll start back up again. So uh, stay tuned, guys. You're watching Erev TV. My name is Eric Wonson. This is my man, Snake Boots, right here. And uh, Erev will be right back, so stay tuned. we got a lot more for you guys. And before you go, join us in IRC, E-Rev, on the Game Search Network or QuakeNet. Send us in your shout-outs, and when we get back from commercials, we will give a couple of uh, shout-outs out. So uh, stay tuned, folks. Yep.